Hi, I'm Donathan. And I'm Kelly. And, and we, we are, are Craving, Craving Cinematics. Cinematics. Well, last night we sat down and watched DevDos. And it's a Shrook Khan movie. One of his first. One the of one his that first. Put him on the map. 2002, yeah. And really, it to me, was uh, a very interesting movie simply because of the time period that it took place in yeah. and the visuals and the mansions and oh the mansions oh. yeah and the costumes oh. yeah it at first it was kind of difficult to determine what time period it was taking place in until i saw the carriages yeah says, okay carriages. this is probably late 1800s maybe early 1900s but uh the visuals were absolutely stunning in this uh for me um the acting was actually really, really good. Now, I do understand this is Shrook's early works, and he did a really, really good job with it. Uh, most of the actors did. Um, however, for me, some parts seemed a little overreacted. You know, they overacted uh, a little bit too much in just certain scenes. Uh, some of the uh, other actors who were supporting actors in it uh, really felt uh, a little bit forced rather than it coming out as a as natural but other than that I really really like the movie uh, it's one of the uh, revisions or a modified version of the Romeo and Juliet story and oh, he just took what I was gonna say sorry but okay. but I mean it I'll it, just sit here silently it was it was a tragic story and um, and it's really heartfelt, and I could under you know I could relate to a lot of the different aspects to it. What like, about you? Like what? Well, for instance, the heartbreak, being able to you know loving someone so much that you just ache and you just you cannot go over it, get over it is that person you you breathe, uh, you know that feeling all the time. You have. to to be with them. You think about them all the time. You dream about them all the time. You cannot get them out of your mind. So I've been there. Who, with, with whom? Well, you, for one. So... For one? Who else? Who else have you had that passion for? Well, my first love. Which was? It was a 1986 Tandy 1000 computer. Oh, dear God. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me, Donathan. Goodness, can you get any more of a geek? God. Anyway, what about you? You ate, breathed, and, 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 and dreamed of a Tandy computer? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, sadness ensues. What about you? What do you think of the movie? Well, I can't follow that. Jeez. <laughs> You're turning so red. you like a little valentine. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Well, I, I, I liked the movie. I, I, I did like the movie. Um, it was uh, instantly recognizable as a Romeo and Juliet movie. You know, mm. wrong, wrong side of the tracks for one of the loves, you know. Yeah. Um, it did show the the cast system mm -hmm. um, very well that you know she was of a lower cast system than he, and because of that, the parents would not you know even think of consenting to a, a marriage between them until she married even higher up than him somehow. Which I'm still not quite sure how they managed that because that's what their family was all about. Their family honor was them um, arranging their daughter's marriages into a higher caste Well, yeah, system. I understand that. But, but their but family was known for that. Ah. Uh, so. They we call it here in the United States gold diggers. But okay. anyway, I'm not saying that that's what she was. Um, Arisha, uh, she young beautiful oh my gosh oh oh absolutely oh. stunning she uh, she is got to be one of the most beautiful women on the face of this earth mm -hmm. she's stunning and her acting abilities her singing and her dancing yeah. 
are just she's uh, just a, a threat all the way around. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Um, Shuru Khan, he did a good job. I could tell that he was just starting out. Mm-hmm. He definitely, um, his acting was fine. I'm perfectly fine for this, but fine is about as, as far as I will go. Um, compared to something like My Name is Khan. Oh, yeah. There's where, no where, comparison. You know, you could see in the years um, the growth in his yeah. acting skills, which is kind of neat to see. I really yeah, liked that. Um, exactly. You know, there's times I'll go back and look at some of my old plays that I've done mm-hmm. and go, oh, why in the world did they cast me in this show? <laughs> um, to now where I'm kind of still going, ooh, why did they cast <laughs> me in this show? But you're I'm, more confident in everything. Th- well, that's true. Um, Have you gone back and looked at the Spider-Man Homecoming review? Oh, yeah, and how much... Yeah, definitely. How much we've grown How much more confident that I've grown on camera doing yeah. doing these reviews and everything. and, and to, But I think a lot of that, too, is because when I look into the camera, I, I see all the people that we've been meeting through Facebook mm-hmm. and, you know, all the friends and people that I talk to. Um, so, I, I don't know. I just I feel more comfortable... And That's cool. Yeah. Just kind of like we're sitting here talking to our friends about a movie. Oh, exactly. It's but, just uh, like when uh, I tried to do the movie news. Oh, y'all, you have to go back and check that out. Please Find don't. it in our Please list. Don't. Please don't. <laughs> His first attempt at being on camera and he tried to do a movie news. Well, he did it. He did it. And it's cute. But... It's horrid. <laughs> it's horrid. It's not that horrid. Yeah, it is. I put horrible in the title of the video. Well, just because you put it in there doesn't. Oh, mean I didn't put hard. I put hilarious. That's what I put. So. Anyway. Anyway, um, again, I agree with Donathan. There was some overacting in some spots, but then there were some spots that were really good. Yeah. Um, acting. Uh, one where Shrek was dying, where Dev yeah, Doss was dying, Dev was Dawson. was heart wrenching. Um, where he was drunk. Oh. You know, knowing that he doesn't drink. Yeah, we saw the trailer to that without subtitles. And wasn't really sure what was going on. We couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. But after watching it with the subtitles and him going in and he's literally having this uh, legal argument with his father. Oh, wow. And him objecting and his father said overruled and what he was going through and hearing his hands getting smacked. Yeah. Over and over again. That was so powerful. That was powerful. And that was, um, um, Sanjay uh, was the director yeah. And uh, he's directed a lot of movies henceforth. And you can also tell then, I know, henceforth, that was a big word, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it shocked you, didn't it? <laughs> um, I come up with them every once in a while. But uh, you could tell the, his growth, too, mm. because he's the one that did Pavma Vadi. Yeah. And um, uh, Bishreo, uh Mastani. And I, I'm, I'm, I think. And I'm, he's I'm all about sure the correct. cinematography. Yeah, he really is. This m- movie's which, beautiful. And y'all know I love me some good cinematography. <laughs> so, you know, I love this director. And But I've seen his growth, too, from mm-hmm. Dev Das to, you know, Padmavati. Yeah. She, it just, it's just amazing, the growth. And, you know, it's like anything. You, you do it long enough, you, you get comfortable, and you, you get good at what you're doing. Practice mm-hmm. makes perfect. And in this case, I'm kind of glad we saw the newer films. Yeah. And then went back and saw one of their first films and, and, and have seen the growth in that. With that being said, um, I did enjoy the movie very much. It's probably not one I'd go back and see again because it is the tale of, you know, Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Um, there were a couple of things that I, I didn't get quite enough closure for where, I, you know, like... His sister-in-law. I really wanted Shrewd to burn her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I saw him setting fire and I was like, why didn't he pour some of that alcohol on her and just set her up in flames? Because she really deserved it. She was yeah. evil, wicked person. Yeah. Um, the brother-in-law. Yeah. Um, her brother-in-law. Paro's brother-in-law. Yeah, Paro's yeah. brother-in-law. Uh, he, he was evil in himself, kind of lecherous. Conniving. Conniving touchy feely in the wrong kind of way sort of guy and creepy you know and and really he just kind of what got banished it well he got like embarrassed he, a little bit but yeah that's and pretty it, much it just it. wasn't enough for me um and and i really feel like Duff doss's mom should have gotten a lot of a little bit more yeah of, i up, i think for her, for her i think for got. her the loss of Dev doss is probably you don't you don't see that 
but I'm Well, you sure. saw the single tear coming out of her eye yeah. when, when, when he, he left. But, mm. you know, and I guess you do, yeah. I guess you can kind of take it that, you know, she, she knows he's going off to die. He, yeah. She's never going to see him again. And I guess for any mother, that's that's punishment for a lifetime. So, yeah. okay, I can see where that could fall into place. But um, I did like the movie. I thought yeah, it was, I it did was too. a good movie. Um, it, it was a good play on the Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, um, I really like the uh, and I like the, the variations. Period. Yeah, the period, the period was piece. really great. Now, I wouldn't necessarily go back and see the entire movie again, but mm-hmm. I personally would go back just to watch that one scene. Where he's arguing with himself. With uh, his his father, yeah. yeah. That is such a powerful scene. That is a powerful scene. And uh, you can really feel the emotion coming out of that and the torment that he was going through. Well, and the same same with the last scene where where he's dying. And you you see Peril running to him just with all of her might and with everything she can to get to him. And right at the last moment there, the doors close because she's been banished to stay in her palace, you know, forever yeah. as her punishment, which really sucks. But um, although it's a nice palace, and if you had to be banished somewhere, it's better than a prison cell, I suppose. Yeah. Um, but him lying there and all those pretty flowers with the people around him, you know, and he looks up and he sees her running towards him, and and the doors close and he dies, and and. But I liked that they had him die. Yeah, I did too. I it's, liked that there wasn't a happy ending. That, yeah, there's that it's no true resolution life. To yeah, it. that there's, there's no it's, it's 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 more along real life that people do die in yeah. terrible circumstances, and people try to get to them before they die, and they don't. Well, and he hung on long enough to see to her. To see her, yeah. And that's what he was wanting. She just to see her one last time. Oh, it was very okay. tragic. It's very tragic. But uh, anyway, good movie. Yep. Enjoyed it. Um, thank you for recommending it to us. Yep. And if you haven't seen Dev Doss, go back and take a look at it again. 2002? Yep. It's from 2002. Uh, you'll you'll see the start of Sharon... Uh, sure. Sharuk Khan's... Sharon. I tried to mix this, mash his whole name together. Sharuk Khan's um, career starting out. Yeah. And... Uh, then you can go back and compare some of his newer works to that one and see what you all think. Yep, I agree. Well, I'm Donathan. And I'm Kelly. And And we we are Craving Craving Cinematics. Cinematics. Bye-bye.